What is life? It seems like kind of a simple question, doesn't it? But even in the field of biology, the study of living things, it can get rather tricky to determine what is alive and what isn't. We don't mean the difference between living things and dead things, although that can get pretty complicated, or the difference between a gummy bear and an enraged rhinoceros. This is a much more complicated problem that has become all the more complex as we learn more about molecular biology. Unlike materials, such as water, nitrogen, or Branston pickle, life isn't a detectable substance, it's more of a process. You can't have a barrel of life, or measure out 22 milliliters of it, you can only observe it in action. A reasonable enough definition of life, one that you may remember from high school biology, goes something like this. Life is a characteristic of an organism that displays most or all of the following traits homeostasis, organization, metabolism, growth, adaptation, response to stimuli, and reproduction. This definition is okay for most everyday things. You can use it pretty effectively to determine if rocks or trees are alive, or if you should have any ethical qualms about boiling a pot of water. But it's not so great for other things. For example, are viruses alive? They demonstrate a degree of organization, adaptation, reproduction, and in some cases, a response to stimuli. But is that enough? Does it matter that viruses can't reproduce without the help of a host cell? Or that they aren't truly homeostatic? How many boxes do we need to tick off the list before we can say something is alive? Transposable elements, or transposons, are even weirder than viruses, and even harder to classify. Essentially, a transposon is the length of DNA, seen here in red, that can cut itself out of its place in a genome and move to another place in the genome. Is it alive? The obvious answer is no, but then these jumping genes seem to operate independently of their host genome, and they tend to copy themselves. In fact, over half of the human genome is made up of transposons and ancient viruses. So what is life? And will we recognize it if we ever encounter life that doesn't fit our current definition? Perhaps a better question may be, what isn't life? Do you think that viruses are alive? What about transposons? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching this episode of XSciEd. If you have any questions about this video or suggestions for other videos, leave us a comment or send us a message.